The stage is dressed for a special occasion. The actors will enter it tomorrow, knowing only the performance of their lives will do. Steve Scott, News at 10, Madrid. Well, the Spanish capital is turning into a sea of red and white as thousands of fans arrive ahead of tomorrow's final. Ticketed or ticketless, they've made their way there by and every means possible, including in one case buying an old banger for 40 quid. Some 70,000 football supporters are coming to Madrid. They're here for Liverpool. They're here for Tottenham. And they're taking over the Spanish capital. It feels like you're in Trafalgar Square, you want to play up at Wembley. It doesn't feel like you're in Madrid. Oh, it's all. Just the sun. The sun in the bears. This Wait, is what we believe in. Believing. Champions League final. We are a family. Football fans being football fans, the road to Madrid is by any means necessary. By plane, train or very old automobile. Liverpool fan Simon has a ticket for the match but couldn't afford a ticket for the flight. So he and his three friends, one a Spurs fan, pitched in to buy a car for £40. They've driven 1,300 miles in three days. And arrived this wow. afternoon to a hero's welcome. You picked yeah. up a Spurs fan along the way as well. I know, I wish I had been out to be honest, but beggars can't be choosers, eh? <laughs> Were you ever worried you weren't going to make it? We were worried from the start, that, especially when that pipe fell off going down the ferry. Yeah, yeah. Like the pipe fell off. Yeah, a little pipe which circulated the air into the engine fell off, so we had to get a rubber pipe and stick it in and we managed to get it going again, but nightmare that was. <laughs> Any question, guys? How are you getting home? We're going back, back in this, yeah. yeah. But Simon and his friends aren't the only ones on an arduous journey. Spurs fan for 30 years. Can't believe we're in the Champions League final. But the problem is I'm in Croatia on a family holiday with my very understanding wife who has allowed me to venture to Madrid via a ferry, a taxi and two flights. It might be an all English final tomorrow, but these fans are international. Liverpool supporters from Thailand are coming yeah. here. Thailand, not yeah. All that, yeah, have to get, I think. No. Yeah. So they're coming just to watch it on a TV? Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. 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 Just, just enjoy the atmosphere yeah. here. The problem is the supply of tickets nowhere near meets demand. Most of the supporters have travelled here will not get tickets to see the game. That doesn't matter. They're here for a fiesta of football. And it seems that's already ticked off. Tomorrow night, Liverpool and Spurs will be rivals. But for now, there's no animosity. White or red, they're here for a party. Peter Smith, News at 10, Madrid. And returning to our sports editor, Steve Scott, in Madrid. Steve, uh, less than 24 hours to go. Uh, hard to put into words how big a deal this game is, given that you witnessed two spectacular semi-finals, which got them there. Well, this is such a, a big deal for both teams for so many different reasons. If you look at it financially, last year's winners, Real Madrid, well, they cleared around £80 million on their Champions League journey. Liverpool, who got to the final, but then lost, still made just short of £75 million. But it's more than just about the prize money. There are the new sponsorship deals. There's the opportunities with branding and merchandising, considering £350 million worldwide will be watching this match on TV. When it comes to the football itself, there's the prestige, yes, of course, of winning the tournament. But for both teams, they're going to find it easier to attract uh, the top talent. And of course, because it's an all English final, well, it only just further enhances the reputation uh, of the Premier League. Uh